All right guys, so we just came from Hilton Head back to Savannah and we just checked into the Alita. I will leave the link down below. I'm working with them and the hotel looks gorgeous. So we have our little bathroom here, full glass shower, which I love. I'm obsessed with this like little drop desk. I feel like this is such a good idea for anyone that lives in an apartment. It doesn't have that much space. I think that this is so cute how it just like comes out of the wall like this. We have a double king bed sharing with my parents tonight. And I love this little book note. I'm definitely gonna read it over here. Maybe shoot a photo here. It has like this beautiful like dome top to it And this is just like exactly what I think of when I picture like the south It reminds me a lot of where I was in Nashville. Um, it looks like there's a lot of really cute bars and Pubs and breweries and stuff around. There's a lot of places to like sit outside and drink and listen to music There's like a lot of people walking around. We saw one of those drinking bikes do you know what I'm talking about? Like someone talking on a microphone and there's like loud music and a cooler in the middle, that kind of thing. I did that in Nashville. We saw one when we were parking our car, but we're gonna get settled in and see what we're gonna do. So they have this little nook and I'll have to show you guys the water bottles they gave us. They gave us these refillable water bottles and they have sparkling and filtered water that you can refill them throughout your stay. And they also have ice for you in these little bags like this, in that little drawer. I wonder what's in this one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, we gotta cut it. <laughs> Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is head up and check out the rooftop bar. And then I think tomorrow we're just gonna like walk around town and stuff. There was like a lot of really cool like towny bars around that I wanna check out, but we do wanna check out the rooftop first and it's like about nine o'clock. So I think we should just do that tonight. Okay, so as you guys know, I love beer, but one of my favorites is actually Miller High Life and like no one ever drinks it, but I love it. Good morning guys, we just woke up at the Alita. I just filmed my outfit filter. It is like 11 a.m. So we got a little bit of a later start today. I've been waking up super early every day so I figured I'd let myself sleep in a little bit and we're about to go explore the town. My mom said it was a little chilly so I have this jacket on, this romper, jumpsuit, boiler suit. I think it's a boiler suit, it's from Shop Stevie. My tank underneath is from Brainy Millville and I have my Converse on and we're gonna do a lot of fun stuff today. I planned like an itinerary for my parents and I. We're like less than a mile away from the park that Forrest Gump filmed the iconic bench scene in, so I definitely wanna go there. Right down the street from there is the birthplace of the founder of Girl Scouts USA, so I figured we might as well stop by there. I was a Girl Scout for my entire life up until high school. Um, and we have a really fun dinner collab too tonight, so I'm excited to show you guys everything in Savannah, so let's go. So we're hanging out out here by the river and we're at this bench and like someone left their phone here So I went into the Starbucks to ask if we should like give it to them and she said she would call security So they would come pick it up until someone gets here. So pretty here We really have only spent one day here and this is probably one of my favorite cities that I've been to because of the way that it's laid out. I love how they have all the architecture from a really long time ago. Like everything is like stone and cobblestone and there's a lot of like really cool hole in the wall places. Like nothing seems like it was ever torn down and just like refurbished instead, which I think is so, so cool. It has like a really towny feel to it, which I love. And it reminds me a lot of Nashville, which my parents are literally in the back of every clip ever. <laughs> this trip. Um, it reminds me a lot of Nashville which I really didn't expect, but it reminds me of like the more relaxed parts of Nashville, like obviously not Broadway and everything like that, but the other places for sure. The one place I wanted to stop while we were here was the Savannah Bee Company, and actually as we were walking to brunch, we like ran right into it. So we're looking around right now. They do like honey tastings, which I think is really, really cool. There's some people over here, and I believe that's what they're doing, but they have all kinds of stuff to buy. I feel like this is a really good place to buy like authentic like souvenirs if you're coming here to visit, and it's super cute. They have a really good Instagram following too. So I'm tasting the Tupelo honey. The lady told me that this is like their regional honey. You can really only get it around here. Wow, it's really, really good, wow. This is gorgeous. We went to the Common Restaurant for brunch. So we got the common salad, chicken and waffles. My dad got the breakfast burger with bacon, egg, and cheese on it. 
chicken and waffles is something where every time I'm down south, I'm like, you should get that, and I never do, and today I did, and it was really good. I'm glad that I did. It definitely is heavy, though, so my mom and I got that and a salad, and we split that, but yeah, we were at the Common Eye. I really enjoyed it there. The food came out so quickly. The meals were really good size. We probably could have literally split the chicken and waffles between the two of us, and it's like a cool tavern bar as well. I loved our waiter. He was awesome, so definitely recommend going there, and now we're gonna head to the Forest Scum Bench and hit a couple shops on the way. I'm just at the Forest Gump bench. Okay guys, I think it's called Chippewa. I'm not quite sure, I could have totally pronounced that terribly wrong. But we're in the park right now where 80% of the movie Forest Gump was filmed. And that's a real statistic, I looked it up yesterday. I didn't even realize that, but if you think about the movie, he's like sitting on the bench for the entire span of the movie telling the story. Ooh, bells. So we're sitting on various benches. The actual one is in a museum, but this is where it took place, so. Gotta get a picture somewhere. So the actual bench was like facing me right now, and there's now a center block one that's facing the opposite direction but I'll show you the view in front of me because if you like look up a picture on Google I'll throw one up right here this is like the scene behind him is this statue and this white building but it was like a long time ago so obviously the trees have grown more there's not grass anymore it was filmed in 1994 so obviously there's been a lot of changes in the park and trees have grown and things like that but there was grass here in the movie scene um, and obviously now that's not there but we grow that's still really cool and a cool place to come see for sure I was like really excited this is like one of the things I was excited about to come here for hey guys so So that was pretty cool. I don't know why I like, really expected there to be a bench there. I know the real was in the museum, but I thought there would be one to like sit on. Like I was expecting more of like a rocky statue situation in Philadelphia where there's like a line of people trying to take pictures with it. And there is like a place to stand right there, but it's more or less just like a regular park. And it's a beautiful park, but people were really just passing by. There was a couple people taking photos, but not many. But it was definitely cool to see. And right now we are heading to the founder of Girl Scout USA's birth home. Just to see it, because it's on the way. Here it is, right ahead of us. Here it is, guys, 19. 12. Historic steps, using your own brisk. I don't know if you guys can tell how steep these are. They're so steep, oh my gosh. So right now we're kind of just exploring all of the restaurants and shops outside of our hotel. Our hotel is literally right up here and there's tons of restaurants and bars right around it. Um, the river's right here which is really nice. So like I said, I love staying at the Alita. I will leave everything below in the description box for you guys as well. Look how big this boat is. Woo! So my mom and I are just window shopping. We stopped in the outside Savannah, which seems so cute. It's like kind of like surf shop vibes. I love that baseball cap. Okay, I sat at the pool for literally just a few minutes. I tried to get some content, but it was kind of dark out anyway. So I'm gonna hit the gym really quick before dinner. I think we're just gonna do a circuit or something, but I'm gonna head down there now. Okay, so I just literally did like a 10 minute slim ab workout. Um, if I remember which one it is, I'll put it right here when I'm editing. I usually just do like a short YouTube workout. But being honest with you guys, it's like whatever part of my body is like bothering me the most is like the part that I work on. Like I tried to shoot outside, like I told you guys, like at the pool and like just not liking how my stomach was looking. So I did the 10 minute workout for that, which is like not really good to do that, but you know, but you know, everyone has those days. So I'm gonna go up and shower and get ready for dinner. And then I tried to figure out the Peloton, but I had to like re knew my password and stuff and it just like took too long so I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning and yeah we're going to Orly Station for dinner. Okay, so we just got to Arthi Station. The ride was quite the experience, but we're here and the restaurant is so cute. Um, I'm really excited, it looks really cool. Also, look how cute the cups are. Love. So what I'm realizing is that I think that going to Italy has made me more of a red wine person. So this is a Molliard, and I thought it was like kind of sweet. My mom said it wasn't at all, and she likes red wine a lot. So this is what the waitress recommended though, and it's really good. <laughs> When this got on the table, all three of us literally just said, wow. This is an appetizer and it's a crab cake, but it looks so good. It's really big. I don't know if you can tell actually the size of it. Here's my hand for reference, but it's almost the size of my hands. And this is a bruschetta. 
that we're about to try. Oh my gosh, our dinner just came out. I got a pesto parmesan linguine shrimp dish. And both my parents got filet. First time I got you guys a steak dinner. Usually it's my dad buying it. Woo! Look at this church, guys. Our Uber driver took us on a detour so we could see it. Five star rating for sure. <laughs> we just had the best Uber driver we've ever had. His name was Franklin and he was so informative. He's lived here for 17 years and he was in the military before that. And he took us around an extra block to show us the church here. And he told us all about stuff, but Okay, so I kind of showed you guys this a little bit last night, but the bar right across the street here is like a really famous one. Um, I think it's called Electric Moon. Electric Moon. And it has slides and stuff, but the nightlife here is amazing. I like didn't know Savannah was like lively like this. Whenever I heard people going to Savannah for like their bachelorette or bachelor parties, I was always like, that's like kind of lame, but it's definitely not lame here, that's for sure. Good morning guys, we are checking out of the Alita today and we are about to go to the Gray Market to get lunch and then we're heading to Charleston, that's like two hours away. We had such a great stay here though, highly recommend. It's in the middle of town, like literally right downtown in the middle of all kinds of bars and pubs and like restaurants and shops. I have like 10 minutes to check out, which is why I'm rushing, but I love Savannah, I definitely will be back. So one thing I like the most about this hotel is that there's three different places to be like entertained. So on the first floor, they have the trade room, which is a whiskey bar. On the rooftop, they have what is called the Lost Square. And it's like a really cool rooftop bar. Actually, when I was looking at TikTok on like where to go in Savannah, that was like one of the top places that kept coming up. And then they also have a restaurant at the bottom of the hotel, which is called the Red. We didn't end up going there, but we did go to the Lost Square the first night we were here. And it was really awesome. And last night we went up there for sunset to take a couple photos and they had live music. And they also host weddings here so tonight that's closed for a wedding but that's also something to keep in mind because I think that this is a great hotel I think that it's like a really interesting and different venue especially if you're like not from the area like personally I've never been to Savannah and like, I never really understood why people always came here for bachelor and bachelorette parties but trust me after coming here I 100% get it now I'm gonna give you guys a couple more glimpses of the property this is the tray room which is that whiskey bar I was just talking to you about they also have a lot of other really little fun things that they do like they have like free cookies every night and they also do a happy hour where you can like go to the front desk and get a drink and they also add a $30 beverage credit per room per day so you can go get a drink which I think is awesome too so now off to the gray market and then to Charleston so right here is the prohibition museum and here are all the boring people that didn't drink look these protesters on the list of the other things I didn't know about Savannah, our amazing Uber driver last night, Franklin, told us that Savannah is the second most populated city during St. Patrick's Day. So like millions of people come here and apparently it's a ton of fun. I would love to try it some year, but this year I will be in Vegas for St. Patty's Day. All right guys, we've made it to the gray market. We're about to get lunch here. It looks really cute outside. They have like a little rainbow and pot of gold for St. Patty's Day and let's head in. Oh my gosh, they have like boozy popsicles. So I got an Aperol Spritz. I haven't had one of these this summer. That's good. All right, I got the NYC, which is like a bacon, egg, and cheese, but I got it without cheese, of course, and I also got a side salad. My parents both got burgers with potato wedges. Look how good these potato wedges look, though. So the coleslaw looks good. My dad got a side of coleslaw. We are gonna head into one vintage consignment store before we leave. You guys know how much I love to thrift and I haven't been in a while because we've been on the road for so long, but there was a couple ones close by. So we're gonna hit one before we head out. Picked up one shirt on our thrifting journey. 